رب اشرح لي صدري واسر لي امري واحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear brothers and sisters I hope you all are doing very well at home first of all Eid Mubarak to all my dear brothers and sisters we celebrate Eid Al-Azha have lots of fun and last but the most important point is that we sacrifice an animal on the blessed occasion of Eid Al-Azha but do you know why we celebrate this Eid? It is very important for all the Muslims to know the reason behind it. So let me tell you the reason why we all sacrifice an animal. We all know Hazrat Ibrahim salam and Hazrat Ismail salam, right? So let me tell you the story about it. One night Hazrat Ibrahim salam had a bad dream. He dreamt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to sacrifice Hazrat Ismail alayhi salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam thought that it was shaitan playing nasty tricks on him. The next night, Ibrahim alayhi salam had the same horrible dream. Ibrahim alayhi salam knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would only ask him to do such a thing if he had a good reason up behind that. Even though he loved his son dearly, he was prepared to do this difficult thing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for his will. Ibrahim alayhi salam told Ismail alayhi salam that he, they had to go to Mount Arafat. Next day, he took a knife and a rope with him. On the way, they passed a place called Mina. The shaitan came to Ibrahim alayhi salam and tried to talk him out of sacrificing his son. He was actually trying to distract him. Ibrahim salam turned his back on him and, and did not listen to him. When they reached Mount Arafat, Ibrahim salam told Ismail salam that Allah wanted to do, that is to sacrifice Hazrat Ismail salam for Allah's will. Hazrat Ismail salam listened and accepted what was to happen. That is, he was an exceptional child. He too was a great prophet. Ismail salam told his father to tie his hands and legs and blindfold himself so he would not struggle and make his father even more upset than he was going to be. And Ibrahim salam was blindfolded. So he could not see his son suffer. Ibrahim alayhi salam did as Ismail alayhi salam had said. He then took a knife and did what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had told them with the help of a dream. When he took the blindfold from his eyes, he looked down, not at his son, but at a dead lamb. What was this? Has the Ismail alayhi salam was at his side, Ibrahim salam was afraid and scared. He thought he has disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then he heard a voice telling him not to worry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him that it was he who did this all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks after his followers. Ibrahim salam and Ismail salam had passed a difficult test. Each year during the Hajj, during the month of Dhul Hajj, uh, many Muslims from all over the world travel to Makkah. They want to remember what Ibrahim salam and Ismail salam did. In the month of Dhul Hajj, these pilgrims go to Makkah, Mina, and Arafat, where Ibrahim salam and Ismail salam lived and preached. They give, they give sacrifice just as Allah commanded uh, Ibrahim salam to do. The pilgrims sacrifice animals in the memory of the deed. On this day, uh, on this blessed day, Muslims all around the world sacrifice animals in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we have money to afford an animal, it is farz for us to sacrifice an animal, so we should sacrifice. We must obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands as Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam did. 
we obey by doing the things we know are right praying obeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands and always telling the truth have a blessed and happy day full of sunshine smiles laughter fun and love jazakumullah khairan wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh